Learn and play online. Perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance around a shape or figure. Perimeter is used in many real life situations. For example, if you were constructing a garden bed, you would need to calculate the total distance around your garden bed so that you can order and purchase the correct amount of materials needed to make the frame. Another real life example of perimeter is the fencing around a playground. In order for the fences to build a safety fence, they would have needed to measure the total distance around the playground, which is the perimeter. When calculating and talking about perimeter, it is important to state the unit of measurement being used. There are many units of measurements that can be used to measure length and distance. Some units include millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers, as well as inches, feet, and miles. The reason why it is crucial that we state the unit of measurement is to make sure we are measuring perimeter using the same unit. If we go back to our playground example, 50 meters of fencing is very different to 50 kilometers of fencing. Knowing the unit of measurement being used helps us to stay on the same page and be as accurate with our measurements as possible. Calculating perimeter for polygons, which are shapes with all straight sides, is simple because all you have to do is add up all the lengths of the sides together. Let's find the perimeter of this triangle. As you can see, it has three sides. Two sides are 10 inches long and one side is only 7 inches in length. If we add all the sides together, 10 plus 10 plus 7, it would equal to 27. But we can't just write the number 27, we must add the unit of measurement, which is inches in this case. So the perimeter of this triangle is 27 inches. The next shape we will calculate the perimeter for is this rectangle. The longer sides measure 15 meters each, and the shorter sides measure only 8 meters. If we add them all together, what would the total be? The perimeter of this rectangle is 46 meters. Did you get that right? Here is a strange looking polygon. Although it may look difficult, finding the perimeter is still the same. Just add up all the lengths of the sides together. What is the perimeter of this shape? The perimeter of this shape is 24 centimeters. The last shape we will explore for today is a square. Now this one may be easy, but we wanted to show you a different method to work out the perimeter if you come across a shape that has all equal sides. If the sides on a shape are equal, you may see little lines like this to indicate that. The sides on this square are all 5 kilometers in length. To work out the perimeter, we can do 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which equals to 20 kilometers in total. However, since we know that a square has all equal sides, another way to work out the perimeter quickly would be to use multiplication. If we do 5 times 4, we would get the same answer, 20 kilometers. So that's just a tip for when you come across a shape that has all equal sides. You can take the length of one side and multiply it by the number of sides the shape has as a quicker way to work out the perimeter. Now that you know how to calculate the perimeter of polygons, try to work out the perimeters of these shapes. There will be a one minute timer before the answers are revealed. Good luck.
Let's see how you did. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.